Okay, next example. Find the maximum and minimum values of a given function f of x equals sine x plus cosine x at the closed interval c 0, 2 pi over 3. Okay, so anong unang gagawin natin ay kuhanin mo natin yung derivative. So gamitin lang natin yung ating derivative rule of differentiation ng trigonometric function. So we have the f prime of x equals derivative of sine x is cosine x while derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Then we are going to equate to 0. So ngayon kapag in-equate natin ito sa 0, mapansin mo dapat yung ating uh, value ng x ay pag equal yung ating function. So that kapag equal sila, pag sinabtrack natin yung dalawang uh, terms ay magiging equal to 0. So mapansin mo pag binalikan natin ang uh, unit circle, uh, sa unit circle kasi kung meron tayong angle na 45 degrees or uh, let's say pi over 4 in radian. So ito yung ating angle in radian measure, 5 over 4 degrees. At ang kanyang uh, coordinates sa unit circle ay square root of 2 over 2. At dito nagiging parehas yung kanilang uh, coordinates. Parehas silang square root of 2 over 2. So pag tinignan natin yan sa ating uh, trigonometric order pair, so mauna ang cosine uh, followed by sine. So therefore, ang equivalent ng cosine x ay square root of 2 over 2. Ganon din ang sine uh, x also square root of 2 over 2 pagdating sa uh, region measure pi over 4. So in this case, ang uh, magiging value ng ating x ay x is equal to pi over 4. Kasi doon lang sila magiging equal. Okay. So ngayon, ito nga yung x equals to pi over 4. Ito yung magiging critical number natin. Next, since meron na tayong critical number, which is the value of x is pi over 4. So ilagay natin, i-arrange natin lahat sa isang tabular value. Inocate na rin natin itong ating close interval. So ito ngayon ang ating tabular uh, value. So meron tayong x at ang ating mga x ay 0 pi over 4, 2 pi over 3. Ang ating close interval ay ang 0, yun yung a at ang b natin ay 2 pi over 3. At yung pi over 4, yun naman yung ating critical number represent as letter C. Then, ang goal natin ngayon, makuha natin yung f of x of the following x values. So, let's start with the x equals 0. So, f of 0 is equal to sine 0 plus cosine 0. And it is 1. So, meron na tayong value ng 0, which is 1. Next, pi over 4. So, uh, f of pi over 4 is equal to sine pi over 4 plus cosine over pi over 4. Same value naman lang naman sila, which is 1 half square root of 2 plus 1 half square root of 2. So, 1 half plus 1 half is 1, then square root of 2. So, approximately, ang square root of 2 ay 1.414 and so on. So, meron tayong value sa ating critical number, 1.41. And the last, yung ating a letter B sa ating close interval. F of 2 pi over 3 equals to sine 2 pi over 3 plus cosine 2 pi over 3 at ang value ng sine 2 pi over 3 ay square root of 3 over 2 plus ang cosine 2 pi over 3 naman ay negative 1 half. So pag pinapit natin ito, pwede siyang maging square root of 3 minus 1 all over 2 and it is approximately 0 0.37. Lagay natin sa ating table. Then, dito pala sa ating tabular presentation, pwede na natin makita ang ating minimum value and it is 0 0.37 at ang ating maximum value ay ang 1.41. Therefore, 
the minimum value is 0 0.37 and the maximum value is 1.41. Okay, so to verify our answer in a tabular form, so tingnan naman natin siya into graph uh, format. So let's find the graph of f of x equals sine x plus cosine x at a close interval 0, 2 pi over 3. Okay, so I present natin ang kanyang table, table value. So we have a given table value and on the right part ay yung kanyang graph. So, ito yung kanyang curve. Then, meron lang tayong close interval, 0 and 2 pi over 3. Yun yung ating close interval. So, dito, kita-kita na ang ating minimum value ay ang 0 0.37. Ito yung minimum value. At yung maximum value, ito ang kanyang maximum value, and it is 1.41. And that's it.